This afternoon's event marks as one of the most awaited special event not only to our dear students but also to our proud and supportive parents. To our ever dynamic school directress, Dr. Aimee Dulu Corpus, to our board of directors, to our highly competent and deeply motivated members of the Casa de Libro Incorporated faculty and staff, to the proud and loving parents, to our students, visitors, friends, ladies and gentlemen, a pleasant afternoon. Welcome to CASA's commencement exercise for school year 2022-2023. To formally start our program, may I request everyone to please stand up for the opening prayer to be led by Jard Villarde, a student from DG Module Program, and to please remain standing for the national anthem. Let us put ourselves in the presence of the Lord. Dear God, as we gather here today, we thank you for the blessings of learning and achievement. May we continue to strive in reaching our goals. May our confidence be our foundation and your grace be our guide towards a brighter future. God, thank you for our teachers and parents who always believe in us and has been very helpful for achieving this recognition of our work. Lastly, equip us to reach our desires and purposes in life. Amen. Mga kababayan, ang pambansang awit ng Pilipinas. Gentlemen, it is my privilege and honor to introduce to you our school directress and principal, Dr. Aimee Dulu Corpus. Mga minamahal kong mag-aaral ng Casa de Libro, sa araw na ito, tayo nagtitipon upang ipagdiwan ang pagtatapos ng mga mag-aaral na sakop ng K-12 program at ng Casa de Libro. Sa ganitong panahon, tayo binabalik-balikan sa mga taon ng pag-aaral at paghahanda ng ating mga kabataan. Ngunit ang higit na maganda sa pagdiriwang na ito ay ang pagkilala sa lakas at tibay ng ating mga mag-aaral na hinubog ng matatag na edukasyon. Ang K-12 program ay isang malaking hakbang tungo sa pagpapalakas ng pundasyon ng ating sistema ng edukasyon. Sa pamamagitan nito, tayo ay nagkaroon ng mas malawak at komprehensibong kurikulum na nagtutugma sa mga pangangailangan ng ating mga mag-aaral. Ang DG Online, ang online view sa pag independent learning. Sa loob ng sampu o labing dalawang taon, ang ating mga kabataan ay tinuruan at binigyan ng mga kasanayan na siyang nagbibigay daan sa kanila upang harapin ang hamon ng buhay. Ang ating mga mag-aaral ay hinubog ng matatag na edukasyon. Sila'y pinagkalooban ng kasanayan at kalaman at disiplina upang harapin ang mga hamon sa mundong patuloy na nagbabago. Sa ilalim ng mga programa ng Casa de Libro, 
natutunan nilang tanggapin ang mga pagsubok ng buong tapang at magpatuloy sa kabila ng mga balakin. Ang kanilang mga tagumpay ay hindi lamang nagkakapagpakita ng kanilang galing at talino, kundi higit sa lahat ng kanilang kakayahang bumangon sa tuwing sila ay nadarapa. Ang matatag na edukasyon na ating ibinigay ay hindi lamang nagturo sa ating mag-aaral ng mga pagsasaulo at mga akademikong kasanayan. Ito rin ay nagbigay sa kanila ng mga kahalagahan at mga pangunahing prinsipyong magsisilbing gabay sa kanilang buhay. Sila ay tinuruan ng pagpapahalaga sa pagsisikap, pagkakaisa, pagiging malikhain at pagiging responsabling mamamayan. Ang mga ito ay pundasyon ng kanilang pag-unlad bilang mga individual at ng ating lipunan bilang isang buo. Sa mag-aaral na ngayon ay graduate o mag-move up sa Casa de Libro, at tayo'y dapat natin silang ipagmalaki. Sila mga produkto ng isang sistemang edukasyon na pinagtibay ng mga taon ng pagsisikap at pag-aaral. Ngayon, sila'y handang harapin ang mundong maghihintay sa kanila. Ang kanilang tagumpay ay hindi lamang kanila, kundi tagumpay nating lahat, lalo na kanilang mga magulang. At sa ating mga mag-aaral, tandaan ninyo ng inyong pagtatapos ay hindi ang wakas, kundi simula ng bagong pagsubok at tagumpay sa inyong pag-aaral at sa inyong buhay. Mabuhay mga mag-aaral ng Casa de Libro. Congratulations to the moving up of Casa de Libro. At this point, we would like to call the coordinator of the DG Mojo program, Mr. Francis Jerome Eugenio, for the introduction of the guest speaker. Coach Ivy Marcus homeschooled all her three kids from kinder to high school. She's a mother to David, Gabriel, and Daniela. All three are now successful in their chosen careers. David is the owner and chief technology officer of Sheepmates, a startup logistics company. Gabriel is a customer service manager of DHL Canada. Daniela is a medical doctor from De La Salle Med School. Coach Ivy is also a speaker on marriage, family, and personal development. She holds corporate training courses such as Emotional Intelligence, Strengths Finder, and the Gottman Relationship Program. She's also a Busan licensed instructor of mind mapping in the Philippines, the only four certified trainers in the country. After her kids have graduated from high school, Coach Ivy opened a progressive school in Alabang called 360 Studio School. She became the director for five years and has since moved to doing full-time corporate training and workshops under teaching moms. Currently, Coach Ivy is Character Kids and Leaders Prep Workshop teacher. She introduced mind mapping to CASA and has since made a goal to make us the only mind mapping school in the Philippines. Ladies and gentlemen, our speaker for today, Coach Ivy Marcus. Hello everyone, this is Coach Ivy wanting to say congratulations to all of you to the students na mga nagsunog ng kilay para mairaos ang isang taon. Good job to you guys. Lahat tayo naka-online, naiintindihan ko. Uh, mahirap yon dahil nakakapagod din kahit online. At alam ko marami kayong mga assignments na ginawa, projects na ginawa, lalo na sa mga klasiko. Pero palakpakan natin ang ating mga sarili for a job well done. Ganoon din ang mga parents. Palakpakan natin ang ating mga parents na sumuporta sa atin. Guys, sila ang mga nag-print ng worksheets natin. Sila ang gumabay sa atin. Sila ang nagpursige para mairaos natin ang isang taon at ang mga taon na nakadaan para lang makabigay sila ng magandang edukasyon para sa atin. At most of all, palakpakan natin 
ang Panginoon na binigyan tayo ng health, binigyan tayo ng isang taon na wala namang problema sa ating kalagayan. Thank you, Lord, for the whole school year that has passed. Now, this moving up ceremony is not the finish line, as we all know. It is a part of our life that is a journey where we go a notch higher. Kung baga, hindi ito finish line na tapos na tayo, graduate na, yay! Hindi natatapos ang buhay natin dito. At hindi ibig sabihin ay tapos na, kalimutan na ang lahat. Uh, ito ay isang moving up. Ibig sabihin, moving up to the next level, to the next step. Isang baitang ang ating pupuntahan. Moving to progress, yan ang ibig sabihin yan. Hindi ibig sabihin ay kalimutan na lahat ng uh, nakaraan at pinag-aralan. And moving up means bringing along everything that we have gathered for the whole year. Moving up is about thinking and reflecting about our life, thinking about what have I learned? Ano natutunan ko itong buong taon na to? Ano natutunan ko tungkol sa akin? Ano na discover ko tungkol sa ibang tao at tungkol sa aking mga kakayahan? Ano ang nag-improve sa aking character? Ano ang mindset na nagbago dahil sa isang taon na to? Natutuwa ako sa aking mga leader prep classes. Binigyan nila ako ng feedback sa mga maliliit at malalaking bagay na natutunan nila. At yan dapat ang ginagawa natin, lalo na bago magsimula ang isa pang taon. Pag nilay-nilayan natin, pag isip-isipan natin, ano nga ba ang mga natutunan ko? Paano ko dadalhin ang aking mga natutunan? Ang paano ko i-apply ang mga natutunan ko para sa susunod na baitang na aking tatahakin. You know, students and parents, this is what we're doing with our children. We are helping them carry boxes and boxes of real-life skills, knowledge, and more so character and attitude na madadala nila para sa kanilang kinabukasan para sa kanilang future. Ano nga ba itong mga ito? At sana itong buong SEM break, summer break na ating uh, i-enjoy ay puno ng mga pagninilay-nilay, puno ng reflection sa magandang bukas na haharapin nating lahat. Ano ang madadala ko? So, as we progress And as we celebrate, everybody, applaud yourself for staying fast, for staying even when it's really very hard. Congratulate yourself, guys. The fact na nandyan ka ngayon, bumabangon, may magandang pananaw sa bukas, ito ay already isang measure ng success. Good luck everybody to your next journey. Bring with you all those loads of learnings. Bring with you all those loads of experience, good or bad. I hope you learn from the bad experiences and the good we keep. Move forward to what's up ahead. Keep on having that great perspective. Parents, ganun din po sa inyo. We are the very guide for our children. At sana makita po nila ganun din ka-fervent ang ating pananaw sa buhay. Good luck everybody until I see you again this next school year. Thank you so much Coach Ivy Marquez for that inspiring message. And now, we do have a special presentation from our students, Elijah Muel Singhid from the DG Module Program and Ileana L. Makatunog from the Independent Learning Program. Let's give them a round of applause. So sweet and
Ladies and gentlemen, may I present to you the completers from the DG module program for the academic year 2022-2023. Albo Alexandria Feliz Fieldad with honors. Apostol Isabel Adriel Cruz with highest honors. Badong 
Kyle Dylan Orbita with honors. Vidal Jalice Charisma Cassie Tumbokon with honors. Baguis Lucia Feliz Acosta with honors. Calas Romana Lucia Harpo with honors. De Jesus Dylan Kyle Candulizas with highest honors. De Kinya Eliana Daniel Robles Achiever. Jacob Brian James De Ocampo with highest honors. Maapoy Katis Elise Andrea Garcia with high honors. Naka Martin Avery Orias with honors. Saavedra Leon Rain Ocampo with high honors. Santos Nathaniel Albert Del Rio, Achiever. Solitrino, Air Jofiel Samulde, with honors. Tabanyag, Kendrick Jamie Garcia, Achiever. And Velia Senor Harp Ethan, Achiever. Aben Goza, Zarina Janelle Balmera, with honors. Acuna, Una Simon Mulato, with honors. Una plays third for the storytelling contest. Adimos, Amia Beatriz Pontilias, with highest honors. Alvazo, Dion Autumn Carlos, with honors. Aliko, Jasmine Eliana Miku with highest honors. Amoroso, Chloe Grace De Ocampo with honors. Austria, Estela Arabel Cuetua with high honors. Bailey, Braden Yael Mapanao with honors. Bautista, Axel Amaris Sol Cruz with highest honors. Bohol, John Rafael Harabejo with highest honors. John received the Tawag ng Tanghalan as third runner-up. John also received the award as outstanding participation in Sports Camp Basketball Clinic and Most Outstanding Swimmer and Fastest Swimmer. Bontigao Yuna Miranya with honors. Bornai John David Michel Dizon with highest honors. Bulusan Rodrigo Silaran with highest honors. John David Michel Dizon with highest honors. Bulusan, Rodrigo Silara, with highest honors. Cantara, Zion Andre Kiefer Kapan, with highest honors. Zion is the second place in the storytelling contest, third place in the poster making contest, and second place in the public speaking contest. Kapulong, Duke Adler Tudor, with honors. Kapuyan, Daniel James Lonzanida, with highest honors. Daniel is the first place in the poster making contest. Katanduanes, Lucas Elijah Montes, with high honors. Kata, Cain Mateo Lopez, Achiever. Clayton, Johanna Grace Morales, with highest honors. 
clerigo, Gabriel Christoph Landizio, with high honors. Quaresma, Liam Carlos Antonio Arminio, with highest honors. Liam is a third place in the public speaking contest. De Guzman, Sub Margo Tupas, with highest honors. De Leon, Adrian Zuriel Baguizan, with high honors. De Oca, Elijah Galak Marasigan, with high honors. Dumlao, Hans Joseph Oriusote, with highest honors. Dunsil, Jaden Pierce Jacob, Achiever. Echo, Aselito Buena Obra, with high honors. Fabros, Himiko Musica, with highest honors. Himiko is the third place in the poster making contest and Miss UN's first runner up. Jerónimo Tamara Winter Orias with honors. Tamara is the second place in the poster making contest. Goldin Joaquin Miguel Albay with highest honors. Joaquin is the inter program spelling bee grand champion. Guevara Happy Gomez. With high honors, Happy received the most improved ballerina. Harris, Ziana Kai Olai, with highest honors. Hinolan, James Patrick Tana, with high honors. Imus, Sofia Margaret Vosotros, with highest honors. Contilia, Magic Malenab, with highest honors. Labio, Jeremy Rose Embalzado, with high honors. Librero, Aidan Canarem Liwanak. Liam, Isaiah Josiel Santos, Achiever. Maala, Herman Roel Moises, Achiever. Makawili, Connor James Francisco. Mangubat, Bryce Joseph Quetua, with high honors. Mangubat, Jaslyn Bernice Quetua, with honors. Olisa, Griffin Jansen Almodal, with honors. Oliver Leila Briel Arevalo, with highest honors. Leila is the second place in the Spelling Bee competition. Panganiban Hezekiah Seth October Karnay, with high honors. Hezekiah is the second place in the Nutrition Month vlog making contest Peñaranda Athena Reliosa Achiever Pixon Elijah Emmanuel Balan with high honors Pingao Joseph Calm Odi Santos with high honors Planea Marley Kinrick Oposa with high honors. Kirai Kizia Marie's Villanueva with high honors. Kizia is the first place in the storytelling contest. Ramirez Dean Aaron Kyle Batalia with high honors. Dean is the third place in the storytelling contest. Reyes, Gabriel Jacob Mendoza, 
with honors. Rivera, John Isaac Galot, with highest honors. John is the second place in the Spelling Bee competition. Rivera, Angela Claire Di Marucot, with high honors. Ross, Halen Caden Johnson, Achiever. S.O. SDG Thomas P. Chelina Kelly Del Rosario, with highest honors. Salas, Kael Glafri Cerezo, with highest honors. San Jose, Theon Gray Howe, with highest honors. Theon is Mr. UN's first runner-up. Sandoval, Carl Gabriel Aranas, Achiever. Sapuman, Reagan Love Rodriguez, with high honors. Sevilla, Japs Daniel Fernandez, with high honors. Soronio, Alina Loren Dijita, with high honors. Suaniko, Angela Hanaya Arozal, with highest honors. Angela is a public speaking contest champion and third place in the Spelling Bee competition. Verzosa, Press Himera, with highest honors. Vidal, Kyrie Beatriz Magtangob, with highest honors. Kyrie is the third place in the storytelling contest. And Villanueva Zoe Charlotte Santamina, with high honors. Akot Caleb Carril Guerrero, with highest honors. Agsalda, Kion Chester S. With honors. Ang, Diana Isabella Lape. With highest honors. Diana is the third place in the Spelling Bee competition. Apilado, Urza Scarlet Morco. With highest honors. Aquino, Nio Gabriel Almulhem, with high honors. Austria, Fabian Dominic Cuetua, with honors. Baggio, Caleb Ezekiel Fabric, with honors. Baniega, Blaise Ives Cabilla, with high honors. Baroga, Mark Jess Frias, with highest honors. Bautista Astrid Vincent, with highest honors. Astrid is Miss United Nation first runner-up, third place in the Spelling Bee competition, and a Muay Thai trainee. Bonados, Chloe Blair Hernandez, with honors. Chloe is the third place in the storytelling contest and the Tawag ng Tanghalan first runner-up. Bravo, Arius Matthew Malbas, with highest honors. Arius participated in the first Mapata Taekwondo Championship, Philippine Taekwondo Association. A silver in Kirugi and a gold medal in Pomsei. Bumanglag, Aiden Idris Peredo, with high honors. Buscato, Rupert Conrad Sevilla. Kainoy, Calix Mateos Damasco, with high honors. 
Kalix is the second place in the storytelling contest, third place in the poster making contest, and second place in the spelling bee competition. Kalingan Raiko Inigo Roque with highest honors. Kalis Marcus Alonzo Rosales with highest honors. Calzada Patricia Abigail Beatrix Bautista with high honors. Carpio Xander Nico Billones with high honors. Xander is the third place in the public speaking contest. Castillo Damien Kerr Patiag with high honors. Cruz Janven Alexandre Alvarez with honors. Cuyo Maria Flor Gabriel Borja with highest honors. Daguno Warren Sander Lozano with high honors. Dariagan John Alric Inessential with high honors. De La Cruz, Mateo Alejandro Peña, with highest honors. Mateo is the public speaking contest champion and the inter-program spelling bee champion. Descutido, Elise Caitlin Dumdum, with highest honors. Dichoso, Jacob Matthew Banai. Dineros, Caleb Isaiah, with highest honors. Dumagsang, Farah Gwyneth Tobias, with highest honors. Farah is the third place in the Spelling Bee competition. Eustachio, Haley Braden Marbas with highest honors. Haley is the second place in the storytelling contest and Miss United Nations 2022. Faler Andre Jacob Mendoza with high honors. Fernandez Lucian Gideon Ramirez with highest honors. Gamoso, Liam Marcus Duque, with honors. Garcia, Ron Luis Hanier, with highest honors. Gaston, Liam Argil Basilio, with highest honors. Gatbonton, Joe Ethan Urzo with highest honors. Joe is Mr. UN's second runner up and Tawang ng Tanghalan second runner up. Grospe Nehemia Faith Pasay with high honors. Gutierrez Megan Allison Alquari with high honors. Hirano, Lyle Reggie Torreno, with highest honors. Illustre, Rafa Alessandra Lucille Ku, with highest honors. Jareno, Julius James Cardona, with high honors. La Visa, Charles Valiant Lagunzad, with high honors. La Visa, Valerine Chantel Lagunzad, with high honors. Laya, Seth Alphonse Gokchanko, with high honors. Seth 
is the first place in the storytelling contest. Lazo, Carmelo Luis Pason, Achiever. Leal Zion David Marte. Lepcha, Liam Nathan Pechardo, with high honors. Lucas, John Luilin Martinez, with high honors. Makarambon, Rafika Mardia Domado, with high honors. Rafika is the first place in the storytelling contest and first place in the poster making contest. Maliari, Galant Nielsen Ocampo, with honors. Mamwag Aquila Zion, with high honors. Aquila is the third place in the storytelling contest, first place in the Nutrition Month Vlog Making Contest, first place in the Thanksgiving Speech Contest, and Miss United Nations 2022. Marcos Alexis Jeremiah Bautista with high honors. Mascardo John Gabriel Felicilda with high honors. Navarro Oron Ventus Reed Mariano with highest honors. Oron is the second place in the storytelling contest in the second place in the public speaking contest. Osorio, Adrian Isabel Laxamana, with honors. Padama, Alexandre Liam Paculio, with honors. Palisok, Bathala Ayaay, with honors. Plaza, Kayit Red Vidyar with highest honors. Kayin is the second place in the storytelling contest. Raposon Alexi Purani with highest honors. Alexi is the third place in the storytelling contest. Reyes Eligius Hayben Gutierrez with honors. Rivera Cedric Carl Chan with honors. Ronio Lucy Abel Galban with high honors. Rojas Piero Alonzo Roa with highest honors. Piero is the second place in the storytelling contest. Salamero, Keith David Kalingasan, with highest honors. Samson, Kirk Lonel John Gehelan, with high honors. Kirk is a Mr. United Nations 2022. Santos, Natalie Oriana Del Rio, with honors. Santos, Toby Ethan Dizon, with high honors. Sava, Gabriel Luis Manansala, Achiever. Gabriel is the second place in the public speaking contest. Serfino, Kisun Altair Villanueva, with high honors. Singhid Elijah Muelle Libre, with high honors. Elijah is the first place in the poster making contest and the Tawag ng Tanghalan Grand Champion. Texon Zoe Gray Gumogda. Tupas, Katie Allison Palisan, with high honors. Villanueva, 
Zap Rene Santamina with high honors. Villanueva John Jerome Velasquez with high honors. Virgo Victor Almadrones with highest honors. Yanis Elia Harmony Catalan with high honors. And Zantua Matthew Giro Thomas with high honors. Agoncillo Loren Jace Lopez with high honors. Loren is the first place in the storytelling contest. Ali Magno, Calix Miguel de Vera, Achiever. Andan, Zafira Kesa Ebidag, with high honor. Baroga, Maria Lisa May Frias, with high honors. Calapardo, Chloe Loris. Ursha with highest honors. Chloe is the first place in the storytelling contest. Kayaba, Vincent Ralph Jr. Castell. Vincent is the third place in the Interprogram Spelling Bee and the second place in the Digimodule Spelling Bee. Chavez, Nathaniel Christoph Jimena, with high honors. Co, Marcus Samuel Villegas, with honors. Dizon, Jason Benedict Jr. Bore, achiever. Doblon, Brian Gabriel Jeronimo, Achiever. Domagsang, Flynn Gabriel Tobias, with highest honors. Duran, Kadams Landingin, with honors. Kadams is the third place in the storytelling contest. Elera Gwenel G. Paday with highest honors. Gwenel is the third place in the Spelling Bee competition. Garcia Fia Beatriz Tuntun with highest honors. Hamon Ada Jamie Marco with high honors. Ada is a public speaking contest champion. Lucas Jeo Astrid Martinez with honors. Maala Jerome Ruel Moises with honors. Mabili Ail Revi de Torres with highest honors. Jerome is the first place in the storytelling contest. Magadia, Julius Miguel Velasquez, with high honors. Maliari, Grant Neo Ocampo, with honors. Mascardo, Carl Matthew Felicilda, with high honors. Menguito, Gia Madison Malimban, with high honors. Gia is the third place in the Interprogram Spelling Bee and first place in the DG Module Spelling Bee. Nasongayo, Jose II Aranguez, with highest honors. Navarro, Mifi Sebien Eloria, Achiever. 
Odulio, Miley Nicole Ugay, with high honors. Homer, Lance Caleb Espiriti, with honors. Rabadam, Adam Cyrus Munyon, Achiever. Raruthi Dathil, Hashna Rakoma, Achiever. Hashna is the second place in the Storytelling Contest and third place in the Public Speaking Contest. Robles, Yavin Loren Nikdao, with highest honors. Yavin is the first place in the Storytelling Contest and second place in the public speaking contest. Rosario Zian Miguel Mercado with highest honors. Santos Rian Natalie Eusebio. Sutares Adriel Manalatao with highest honors. Uy, Arkin Luis Ramirez with honors. Velarde, Jasmine Colleen Babala with highest honors. Jasmine is a Miss UN first runner up. Ladies and gentlemen, may I present to you the completers from the independent learning program for the academic year 2022-2023. Babista Pia Faustina Ortiz with highest honors. Bartolome Candice Amara K with highest honors. De La Paz Philip Alessandro Mariano with highest honors. Montesilio Gio Avery Ginga with highest honors. Paelmo Princess Sofia Arsin with highest honors. Sofia received the Interprogram Spelling Bee Grand Champion and Independent Learning Program Spelling Bee First Placer. Uy Justin Joy Ong with highest honors. Abrigo Lucho Mesaya and Grace Aquino with highest honors. Lucha received the Mr. United Nations 2022 and the Spelling Bee second place. Atienza Xavier Alphonse Arzaga with high honors. Bonus Rafael Alonso Luin Hipolito with highest honors. Creador Calix Maya Lazaro with High Honors De La Cruz Kirsten Chloe Bugarin with Highest Honors De La Cruz Zach Gabriel Centino with Highest Honors Francisco Marion Luis Ilano with Highest Honors Gamboa Lucas Gabriel Cerame with highest honors. Wang Rivik Jeshua Ong with highest honors. Ileto Jordan Salvatierra with highest honors. Joshan Kaden Mateo de Guzman with highest honors. Contiliano George Emmett Go with high honors. Laxina Limuel Jedre Dolon with highest honors. 
Lee Sean Enrera with highest honors. Natividad David Giro Galofin with highest honors. Passes James Ezekiel Roldan with highest honors. Perez Amber Kate Morissette Season with high honors. Pongtan Jackson J. Sparan with high honors. Puno Liana Daniela Rose Manuel with highest honors. Valerio Azazel Kerrigan Managelod with highest honors. Azazel received the Thanksgiving Speech Contest First Placer and the 2023 Innovation Entertainment Productions Digital Superstar Kids. Abundo Clay Elior Legaspi with highest honors. Akuzar Benicia Victoria Cator Achievers Allegre Sage Cassidy Chua with high honors. Ambas Joey Adriana Fajardo with highest honors. Joey received the Miss UN second runner-up and the Spelling Bee first placer. Aquino Empress Luzil Marie Sumabat with highest honors. Empress received the Miss UN first runner-up and the Spelling Bee second placer. Aquino Mordecai Palyarga with high honors. Benitez Anakin Kurt Carino with highest honors. Benitez Erin Kelly Carino with highest honors. Bercasio Kiel Isabel Biglete with highest honors. Kiel received the Thanksgiving Speech Contest first placer and the Miss UN third runner-up. Kabilan Elwindel Era Kirikero with highest honors. Pahukom Chandra Kalizi Asuncion with high honors. Cantos Dilan Simon Abelar with high honors. Chan Arya Ray Feliciano with highest honors. Arya received the public speaking contest second placer. Creador Harper Ray Lazaro with high honors. Cruz, Geraldine, Jaylene, Gail, Mendoza with highest honors. De La Cruz, Ethan, Caleb, Sandel with high honors. De La Cruz, Alon, Irie, Castro with highest honors. Alon received the public speaking contest third placer. Desembrana. Cal Aquiles Rojas with highest honors. Diaz Sander Gunnar Raganit with high honors. Elvira Lorenzo Julio Balute with high honors. Espina Seth Adon Balisi with highest honors. Garcia Phoenix Aliandra Figueroa with highest honors. Gubalio Jeron Jake Sahines with high honors. Ilaw Jean Lawrence Regondola with high honors. Laxina Elaine Geraldine Dolon with highest honors. Lau Gideon Johan Karnay with highest honors. Lazaro Samantha Nicole Manuel with highest honors. 
Liku pa Elijah James de Guzman with honors. Lim Alison Venice de los Santos with high honors. Lim Mateo Gabriel de la Paz with highest honors. Linaak Irene Razel Espiritu with highest honors. Makalalad Amiela Jade Tria with highest honors. Makatunog Eliana Lashen Mayer with high honors. Eliana received the tawag ng tanghalan Grand Champion. Matnyalang Jedaidaya Sesco Miko with highest honors. Manzano Adara Kalisi Granada with highest honors. Maranan Simon Alcris Cruzat with honors. Marfil Audrey Kristen Landrito with high honors. Membrot Zara Ann Shalom Hernandez with highest honors. Mendoza Gavarela Gail Dizon with highest honors. Gail received the poster making contest third placer and tawag ng tanghalan third placer. Molina Princess Daniela Alves with highest honors. Monterola Levi Kairos Connor Laya with highest honors. Levi received the Mr. United Nations 2022. Mosqueda Hunter Bajaro with high honors. Nasim Jemima Franco with high honors. Ngo Ethan Trevor C with highest honors. Ethan received the Thanksgiving Speech Contest second placer. Noel Lori Isabel Badoles with high honors. Ong Mandy Chanel Chua with high honors. Ortego Isaac Lucas Francisco with highest honors. Isaac received the Mr. UN first runner-up. Pahudpod Alia Jade Balani with highest honors. Pandarawan Zalel Rich Mortos with highest honors. Pila Nathan David Pagkaliwagan with high honors. Pongtan Myroset Agatha Paran with honors. Hilenderino Calix Kurt Labrado with highest honors. Rafer Sean Elliot Penaflor with highest honors. Rodriguez Marcus Yanis Tuazon with honors. Marcus received the Mr. UN third runner up. Salonga Ardre Justin Sanchez with highest honors. Sandoval Laura Chavel Coronel with high honors. Santiago Arpeggio Roman Pedrezuela with high honors. Gio received the poster making contest second placer and the Mr. UN second runner up. Tabuzo Stephen Zion Marilag with highest honors. Tubon Maria Sky Clotario with highest honors. Uy Laurel Naraya Nuere with highest honors. Laurel received the Miss United Nations 2022. Villena Zakia Ariana Celis with highest honors. Yema Athena Isobel Mena, Achiever.
Arias Mara Angela Zapanta with highest honors. Avila Ren Michael Magbohos with highest honors. Bainan Liam Palencia, Achiever. Bailon Alexa Skylar Retuya with honors. Borja Vince Matthew Martinez with high honors. Kaluwag Kayla Isabel Reyes with highest honors. Kayla received the Miss UN second runner-up. Kator Joff Henrik with honors. Kator Kate Ann with honors. Cleofas Carl Christoph Serene with high honors. Contilio Wilfredo Marcos Sander III Comiso with high honors. Cruz Kurt Galen Nepomuceno with honors. De Chavez Yoram Rafael Balmes with highest honors. Yoram received the Mr. United Nations 2022. De Los Reyes, Edel Mayara Laxon with highest honors. Mayara received the Public Speaking Contest second placer, Miss United Nations 2022, and the Tawag ng Tanghalan first runner-up. Defante Micaela Mari Bautista with highest honors. De La Merced Clyde Christopher Pascual with high honors. Clyde received the Mr. UN second runner-up. Dozier Christopher Van Ruiz with highest honors. Dumlao Ayan McLuis Mayo with highest honors. Ayan received the Mr. UN third runner-up. Enriquez Drake Andrew Albacite with high honors. Fabilan Winter Whaley Taoto with high honors. Gaita Vincent John Gonzaga with highest honors. Garapan Lucas Gabriel Velasco with high honors. Gonito Jaka Shea Emplica with high honors. Gotis Elijah Nicolas Lanuza with highest honors. Elijah received the public speaking contest champion. Gregorio Claire Elise Fernandez with highest honors. Giam Joyce Daniel C with highest honors. Gutierrez Sofia Nicole Sahot with high honors. Hangad Matt Lucas Galang with high honors. Inaklang Eddie Loren Sandoval with highest honors. Lee Failan Austin Cabra with highest honors. Likupa Joshua Zofiel de Guzman, Achiever. Lim Nathan Benjamin de los Santos, with high honors. Linsangan Juliana Maria Teresa Igual, with highest honors. Macaranas Axel John Varela, with highest honors. Madrid Zaqueo Angon, with highest honors. Magbiro Jedaidaya John Requejo, with highest honors. Mariano Erwan Carpio, 
with high honors. Mena Utopia Rain Arseno with highest honors. Miranda Daniel Blake Razon with high honors. Narida Ernst Jared Padaka with highest honors. Navarro Rain Wilthea Martinez with highest honors. Panya Zaqueo Lucas Banyal with highest honors. Zaqueo received the Thanksgiving Speech Contest first placer, Public Speaking Contest third placer, and the Spelling Bee third placer. Punzalan Candice Ariel de Guzman with high honors. Riquez Paul Caleb Villagorda with highest honors. Paul received the Mr. U and first runner-up and the Tawag ng Tanghalan second runner-up. Rivera Rayleigh Emil Serra with high honors. Ronaldo Zoe Gabriel with highest honors. Zoe received the Public Speaking Contest third placer and the Spelling Bee second placer. Sadio Marcellus Emil Bumagat with highest honors. Sagad Althea Jene de Leon with highest honors. Sangalang Samantha Gail Barzona with highest honors. Santos Jezreel Ray Arian Yakub with highest honors. Sarmiento Alexandri Achai with high honors. Alexandri received the Inter-Program Spelling Bee Grand Champion and the Independent Learning Program Spelling Bee First Placer. Pero Skyline Abriana Makiputin with high honors. Tiutong Chris Edric Chua with high honors. Chris received the Nutrition Month Vlog Making Contest third place. Tolentino Ethan Caleb Cabaliza with high honors. Travino Nathaniel Pietro Morris with high honors. Honors. Tungol Keith Blake Howell de Leon with high honors. Uikutin Mason Reed Epino with high honors. Viernes Priam Jan Rebaluyut with highest honors. Villalon Dylan J. Sanchez with Highest honors. Villas Lorenzo Carlos Salibio with high honors. Diema Adena Priel Mena with honors. Arisivita Jadon Dean Deloso with honors. Bea Isabella Abrio with highest honors. Isabella received the Public Speaking Contest second placer. Belen Caitlin Amber Borlaza with highest honors. Casanova Giovanni Oreta with highest honors. Credo Jojeline Lera Villarante with honors. Dantes Adriel Salarda with honors. De Los Reyes Gochoco PJ Abarcar with high honors. De Villieres Salmanta Johanna Abejo with highest honors. Salmanta received the public speaking contest third placer. Elvira Camilo Inigo Balute with high honors. 
Esperanzate Sida Angi with high honors. Facunla Anja Vien with high honors. Gadian Asalia Peha Kahukom with high honors. Garapan Gian Salm Velasco with high honors. Garcia Gavin DeAndre Lenon with high honors. Gavin received the spelling bee second placer. Gubalio Jenica Mirey Sahenes with honors. Haji Sadeghi Aryan Estrella with high honors. Kumapaw Rafael Joaquin Lampong with highest honors. Lalik Emmanuel J.R. Santos with highest honors. Lobusta Landis Boktot with highest honors. Mallorca Elijah Love Ortega with highest honors. Elijah received the poster making contest first placer, public speaking contest champion, inter program spelling bee grand champion, and the independent learning program spelling bee first placer. Mamasabulod Fidel Hussein Gomez with highest honors. Manalo Erwin Cali Puno with highest honors. Moscoso Xavier Inigo Nano with high honors. Natividad Liam Jacob Galdufin with honors. Nobleza Erwin Penelope Remo with highest honors. Erwin received the Miss United Nations 2022 and the Tawag ng Tanghalan third runner-up. Pascual Zion Travis Ilaga with high honors. Zion received the Mr. United Nations 2022. Rebueno Francesca Salve Rey Magdarawag with honors. Sabado Seth Emmanuel Fancubila, achiever. Sapienza Jamila May Lagura with high honors. Separa Francine Victoria with high honors. Tibas Hans Jeremiah Sardido with high honors. Toralba Marcus Liam Balange with high honors. Marcus received the poster making contest first placer, public speaking contest champion, inter program spelling bee grand champion, the spelling bee third placer. Torres Musica Joyce Isip with honors. Villasenor Violin Ayla with honors. Villena Zoe Bernice Celis with highest honors. Congratulations to all our completers. And now, may we call on Ms. Kama Nagilod, one of our parents, and Azrael Kenobi Valerio, one of our students, to give some words of gratitude. Ladies and gentlemen, parents, teachers, and the incredible students of Casa del Libro. Today, we gather here to celebrate not just the end of another school year, but to express our heartfelt gratitude to everyone who has made Casa del Libro, the exceptional institution it is. It is a privilege to stand before you and show my appreciation for this school in behalf of all the parents. I want to extend my deepest thank yous to our dedicated and passionate teachers. Your commitment to our children's education is commendable. Day in and day out, you have nurtured their minds, inspired their creativity, and instilled in them a love for learning. 
you have gone above and beyond. You made an environment that is both challenging and supportive. Thank you for your tireless efforts and for being the guiding lights in our children's lives. To the support staff and administration of Casa de Libro, thank you for your behind-the-scenes work that keeps this school running smoothly. Your contributions often go unnoticed, but are invaluable. Your dedication and professionalism are unparalleled. Of course, none of this would be possible without the students of Casa de Libro. You are the reason we are gathered here today, and it is your enthusiasm curiosity, and thirst for knowledge that make this school so special. Your commitment in your studies, your achievements in various fields, and your acts of kindness towards one another inspire us all. You are the future, and we are confident that you will go on to accomplish great things. To us parents, thank you for entrusting your children to Casa del Libro. Your unwavering support and involvement in their education have been crucial to their success. Your willingness to collaborate with the school, attend parent-teacher conferences, and volunteer your time has made a significant impact to our community. Your dedication to your children's education sets a powerful example for them to follow. Lastly, I would like to acknowledge the collective effort that has shaped Casa del Libro into the extraordinary educational institution it is today. The sense of community that permeates every corner of the school is remarkable. It is a testament to the partnership and teamwork between parents, teachers, and students. As we reflect on the academic year gone by, let us cherish the memories we have created, the friendships we have formed, and the knowledge we have gained. Casa del Libro has provided our children with a solid foundation, equipping them with the tools they need to navigate the challenges of the world ahead. Thank you, Casa del Libro, for being a beacon of knowledge, a harbor of growth, and a place where dreams are nurtured. We are forever grateful. To God be the glory! Dear fellow students, faculty, parents, and guests, it is my great pleasure to stand before you today and congratulate the graduates of this year's class. We should all be very proud of ourselves for reaching this important milestone in our education. Our hard work, dedication, and commitment have paid off. And we have successfully completed this important chapter of our lives. To the parents and teachers in Casa de Libro who have supported us throughout our journeys, we extend our heartfelt thanks. Your unwavering support and encouragement have played a critical role in our success. And for that, we are all grateful. As we move on to the next chapter of our lives, I want to remind ourselves that there will be challenges ahead but there will also be countless opportunities to grow and succeed. Let us embrace these challenges with courage and perseverance and never lose sight of our dreams and aspirations. Remember to be kind and compassionate to others and to always treat others with respect and dignity. We are the future leaders of our world and our actions and words will have a great impact on the people around us. Always strive to make a positive difference in the world and to leave a lasting legacy of kindness and compassion. Moreover, I pray to God, we owe you, Papa Jesus, all the thanks for this achievement of ours. We are all blessed. You blessed us so much and this graduation is just another addition. We are extremely grateful for your help all through school. We seek that you continue to guide us and that your blessings never cease in our lives. Thank you to our friends, new and old, for keeping me sane while the world is on fire. Finally, I want to encourage us all, students, parents, and teachers. 
to continue learning and growing throughout our lives. Let us not be afraid to ask questions, to seek new knowledge and understanding, and to challenge ourselves to be the best that we can be, with hard work, dedication, and a positive attitude. We can achieve anything that we set our minds to. Once again, we, the students, are humbled by this achievement. Our hard work finally paid off, and I wish us all the best in our future endeavors. All glory to God in the highest! And now, let's hear from Ms. Weya May Sabado, the Managing Director of Casa de Libro, for the closing remarks. Magandang hapon po sa inyong lahat and congratulations sa lahat ng ating mga parents and students who completed school year 2022-2023. I only have one question for all of us. No? Kasama po ako dyan kasi ang aking mga anak din ay naka-enroll sa CASA and they've completed one school year also. So I only have one question for all of us. Did you have a good school year? Yan. Diba? Nagposo ako talaga dyan. Gusto ko pong isipin ninyo ng mabuti po yan. No? So, at the end of a school year, it's common and very beneficial para sa ating mga parents to look back at the you know previous months of work and do a little bit of mental review. Was it a good home school year? Uh, was it a good school year for the parents, for the students? If not, why not? Diba? If so, what made it a success? Diba? So, syempre, every year, no, ang daming pwedeng mangyari. We've got our, we had our ups and downs, um, victories and challenges, diba? But overall, the question is, how did it go? Ayan. So, ngayon, nagsiselebrate po kayo ng inyong anak, ng recognition ng inyong anak inside your home right now, no? Uh, may mga bisita, nakaredy ang food, may mga balloons. I want you guys to pause first and really look into what matters most and ask this um, essential question, how did it go? Because that's the question that we should ponder right now. And the answer heavily depends on what are you really, really looking for or how do you define success in your home education. No? So for the last couple of weeks, I've been digging deeper by Charlotte Mason. And um, I want to share you know, what I've learned from her, um, especially you know, if that question is being asked, how did it go? How was your school year? No. So, at the start of the school year, we've we've had you know great hopes and plans. Last August, I clearly remember I've written it down in my notebook for Seth. You know, now I wanted him to have a good. Uh, I wanted him to start learning about multiplication because for the last couple of years, we've you know had a lot of challenges for the some multiplication. No. So this year, sabi ko, gusto ko lang matutunan yung multiplication. For Faith naman, sabi ko, I just want her to uh, be independent and really learn more about her daily living skills. Yeah, like using the rice cooker, um, cleaning her room, um, following her schedules, yung mga ganyan po, di ba? But perhaps, just like me, no, and everyone else, no, you got to the end of the year and things didn't go as you had planned or envisioned. Um, maybe things took an unexpected turn, di ba? Pwedeng may nagkasakit sa pamilya, no? Siyempre, may COVID pa rin po, no? For the last couple of months, pwedeng may na-COVID sa atin. Pwedeng may nag-move ng, ho ng houses or move out of the country. Maybe you experience home disaster, maybe marital issues, relationship problems. Um, or maybe some of us, no, walk through a season of grief from a loss of a loved one's or maybe no some of us welcome a new bundle of joy and all of these things requires a lot of energy and time ito yung tinatawag ko pong life happens no and when you are doing home education that life happens affects directly your home education kasi it's taking place in the same location with the same people all day diba so if you're basing your idea of a successful school year on the number of books that you have completed or the number of assignments that you have submitted or maybe the checklist in your planner, then you might be disappointed. 
Because the goal is not just to finish a book. maaaring nabasa ng anak ninyo lahat ng textbook or lahat ng digital or supplementary materials na pinuvide ng kasa. Pero posible din na none of it stick into your student's mind. ba? Diba? Because the goal is not just to complete all the assignments. No. Or, or to check everything na nasa planner niyo po. Yan. Because checking it off doesn't mean that they learned anything. Maybe a little, maybe a little, they might have learned something. But you have to look at more than just the checklist to evaluate whether this is a good school year. This was a good school year. So, Miss Wei and Tano, where do you look? Yan. We have to remember all the time that the books, the assignments, the assessments, these are just tools. All right? These are just tools to use toward the main goal. And what is that main goal? The one thing that you're looking for in each student is growth. Yan. Ulitin ko po, ang main goal po natin is growth. Ayan. Did my student grow? In what ways did my student grow? Diba? And you have to notice I didn't say na, uh, did my student grow to a specific level? No, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't ask that. Diba? Um, but pwedeng she might not have grown as far or, or as fast as you wanted her to. Diba? But remember that a child is a person. Baka nakakalimutan po natin yan. Our, our children, they're a person. Our students, our learners are a person. And a part of respecting that unique individual is feeding her mind and heart and allowing her to grow at her own pace without the pressure of comparison to another child or to another unique individual's. So rather than fixing your eyes on the finish line that you were hoping to, or maybe you're so obsessed na, ah, hindi namin natapos to, hindi namin nagawa to, hindi na, hindi na tutunan ni set ito, di ba? Um, I, 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 I encourage all the parents to shift your gaze to the starting line, no August. And then, You know where you students where 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 your students started at the beginning of the school year, and look at how far she came along the track. Did our student, our learner, grow? And sometimes it's very very difficult to focus on growth, because mas madaling mag check book, <laughs> I mean mag uh, mag check mark, de ba? Sa planner natin or mag mas mag mas madaling mag quantify kapag uh, nakita natin kung ilang libro ang natapos sa mga anak natin. And so where do we look for growth? No, Charlotte Mason gave us a guidance. She said we must bear in mind that growth is the sole end of education. Let me repeat that. We must bear in mind that growth is the sole end of education. So there are four areas that we can look at. Very quickly lang ho. No? So the first one is physical growth. Yan. Did your student grow physically? Okay. Um, that might include a growth spurt in height, but I think it also includes that student's relationship with herself. Diba? Did she come to a new realization about herself this year? Did she gain a new skill in caring for herself? Yan. No? So, ang aking um, anak, no, ang aking middle child, si Faith, no, um, meron siyang special needs. And so, um, one of the things that she learned lately talaga is to really take care of herself in terms of hygiene. Right? So, for me, that's already a physical skill. That's a growth on physical skill. Diba? So look into maybe your student learned a new physical skill or maybe she strengthened a relation that she had already started about how her will works or how her conscience needs good instruction or how good habits set her up for success. Diba? Uh, maybe you can, you can really see that she started to grasp a good perception of herself. You know how how wonderfully and fearfully she was made by our heavenly Father, no? So there's so many ways that you can look into this area. So that's the first one, physical growth. Second is what we call it intellectual growth. Yeah. Did your learner grasp some ideas about how the universe works around him, or maybe no? Um, 
maybe instead of asking ano pa yung mga natutunan niya like for example ako baka nakuha ba ni Seth yung 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 nagrasp ba ni Seth ni Seth yung multiplication instead of looking at the multiplication I should be looking at things like which ideas nestled into his heart and expanded his mind. Diba? We have to remember that education is not just about how many ideas that our learner grasp. Hindi po. It's about which ones he grab unto for his own, I mean, which ones he grab for his own possession. Diba? We do not say he will remember all he knows, but well, let's use the phrase from Jane Austen, no? He will have had his imagination warmed in many regions of knowledge. Wow. And that's intellectual growth. Thirdly, moral growth. Ayan. This is the third area that we should look into. Ang question po dito is, in what ways have you seen your student grow in her relationship with others? Um, ano po ba yung mga yan? Respecting those who are different from her. Forming her opinion justly after careful thought, showing kindness, generosity, candor in conversation. Um, you know, these are just some of the ways that you can ask no, to see if there's any moral growth. So look at this area with grace-filled eyes and see in what ways your student has grown morally. Pa po, no? And lastly, spiritual growth. Did your student grow in his relationship with God? Ba po? Mm. Um, in other words, no, look for ways that your student is um growing interesting God, you know, like doing what is right, learning more about God, um, persevering instead of giving up, honoring God, giving grace to others, and loving well. Yung mga ganyan po, no. So always remember that you know we are not just educating the brain but we are educating the whole person you know the ideas from the books tulad ng sinabi ko po kanina mga assignments mga checklist checklist these are just tools that contribute to educating your child what really contributes to her learning is you know life experiences so the first one is the atmosphere of your home lagi ko naririnig to sa aming Charlotte Mason the atmosphere of your home um, paano mag-react si mommy, si daddy? Paano mag-usap si mommy, daddy? Um, toxic ba sa loob ng bahay? Si lolo at lola? Paano ba yung, ano ba yung mga culture na pinapasok nila? Si auntie, si uncle, paglabas ng anak ko, kunwari nakatira kami sa compound, kunwari ano, tapos nakita nila si uncle at auntie, anong mga ginagawa? Ano yung atmosphere inside your home? You know, the ideas that you live out and discuss every day during life experiences this comprise at least one third of your child's education as a person. Pangalawa, habits, no? The habits that you help your child to develop, it also contributes another third for his personal education. And lastly, the ideas that other people in your community share contribute to it. Kaya sa vision and mission ng kasa makikita po ninyo talaga, character, competence, and community. And there are three important platforms that contribute to your child's education. And that is the family, the school, and the community. Ano po? So, chances are you haven't documented all of those contributions all year. Diba? For sure, iba po ang nakadocument sa atin. Iba yung sinusulat natin. So, don't get stuck looking at what is just written on your planner or on your grading sheet. Your student has grown in many ways. Physically, intellectually, morally, spiritually. So, physically is in relation with himself. Ano po? Intellectually with the universe around him. Morally with others. And spiritually with God. If you want to know if you've had a good year, you have to lift your eyes and look at the bigger picture. Palagi po, no? Ay, ay, lagi ko itong tinatandaan, sinasabi sa akin ng aking husband. The four Ps. Always look at God's bigger picture, God's plan, God's purposes, and God's promises. Diba po? When you look at it, it changes everything. It changes your perspective. So we must bear in mind that growth, sabi ni Charlotte Mason, is the sole end of education. And so today, as you celebrate this recognition, look for the growth, celebrate growth, and you will see, mga inay at mga itay, that it was indeed a good school year. 
Maraming maraming salamat po at magandang hapon po sa inyong lahat. And that concludes our commencement exercise for the academic year 2022-2023. Congratulations to all our parents and students. Enjoy your day!